In this video, I'll be going over how I modified my Razer Huntsman Mini with clicky purple switches to eliminate the pinging sound that's all too common on Huntsman boards, as well as provide a quieter and smoother typing and gaming experience overall. First, let's take a listen to the keyboard in its stock form. The pinging here may be hard to notice in the recording, but it's very apparent in day-to-day -day usage and is not limited to certain keys, but rather it's present throughout the board. The first thing I attempted to do was to take apart the Huntsman Mini and line the inside of the case with some sound dampening rubber foam. To get started, we'll first remove all the keycaps in order to get to the screws holding the top plate and bottom case together. I like to set aside the keycaps in the same order that they're removed to make it easier to put them back on later. You either spend the extra time while removing the keycaps, or later on while putting them back, so go ahead and pick your own poison. Take your time with the larger stabilized keys. They just require steady upward force to remove. Once all the keycaps are removed, you'll see 13 Phillip head screws that need to be unscrewed. Don't worry, they're all the same size and length, so just take them out and set them aside for now. Having a magnetic screwdriver here is very helpful. You might notice me flipping the keyboard over to get a few of the screws out because my screwdriver is a cheap non-magnetic one. After the top plate is loose, you can see that it's connected to the controller board by two connectors. One is quite easy to remove, but the other is a ribbon cable that's plugged in fairly tightly. After I struggled to remove it for a while, I ended up just removing the controller board altogether. It's actually very easy and only held down by three identical screws. Now we have the bare case assembly and are ready to apply our sound dampening foam. I got this rubber foam with adhesive backing off of Amazon for less than $10. We'll take our time and cut the strips to fit the various chambers along the bottom of the case. After we've completed covering our case in sound dampening foam, let's reassemble the keyboard. Now that our Huntsman Mini is reassembled, let's do another sound test to see how our work paid off. While the sound is slightly improved, I can still hear some pinging, and after a short while, decided to take some more extreme measures to fully eliminate the unpleasant sound. I disassembled the Huntsman Mini yet again, this time with the intention to both lube the keycaps and stabilizers. 
as well as add another layer of sound deadening foam as there was still some space remaining between the bottom of the switches and the foam, allowing for the pinging sound to still propagate under the plate. The switches are plate mounted and not soldered to the board. They can be removed with a little force by pressing them from the underside of the board. These switches don't open without being destroyed, so we'll use an aerosol based dry lubricant to lube the components once they're fully removed. You may notice once in a while a switch comes out and it's stuck down. That's because the stabilizer on the switch got pushed out of place. Just simply snap it back and the switch will operate normally again. Once you have your switches and stabilizers out, go somewhere well ventilated for the next step. I'm using WD-40 PTFE dry lube. Be sure not to use regular WD-40, but other brands of Teflon based dry lube should work as well. Be sure to shake the can well between every few switches. You can spray a small amount twice per switch. Catch the excess with a paper towel. You want to cover the spring, the switch, and even the stabilizers. Alright, now we're all done here. I even lubed up the stabilizers a little bit. Um, this is non-conductive and it dries fairly quickly so I would just suggest uh, letting it dry for maybe 30 minutes or so and then we'll put these back in that keyboard and see how, uh, how much better it sounds. After the switches and stabs are dry, we can put them back on the plate. There may be some excess lube, which might get on your fingers and then the PCB, but the lube is non-conductive, so it won't interfere with the keyboard's operation. You can wipe some of it off if you prefer. I didn't bother. Finally, after the switches and stabs are back on the PCB, we can reconnect the controller and reassemble the entire keyboard. Before putting everything back together, you can also connect the disassembled keyboard to your computer just to verify that everything is in working order before you spend another 15 minutes putting everything back. Now, to do the final sound test with the extra layer of foam as well as everything lubed with PTFE dry lube. Overall, I'm very pleased with the Huntsman Mini and the purple switches after these mods. They're still very quick and tactile, just with a little bit more muted of a click and the spring pinging completely eliminated. I hope you enjoy the guide, and good luck modding your very own Huntsman as well.